Hey guys, it is me. I'm back. Um, I was away all weekend, so that's why you didn't hear much from me. I just posted a couple um, blog posts and stuff, so you might want to check that out at theelectricacademy.com. But I ran into an interesting issue that I ran into last week, and I thought I would share it with you guys. And here's what happened. Let me just share my screen with you guys. I'll get cut right to the chase here. I'm going to go like this, and we're going to call up this guy over here. Oops. Oh, that's not what I'm calling up. That's right. You don't need to see my email. Here's the situation. I had a light, and let's say that this blue wire here is actually white. So that's my neutral, my hot, and then I've got our switch leg, sorry, and then I've got my ground. Ground comes down here onto the switch, down and off it goes. Now here's what happened. This guy here had the moret or the wire nut or whatever you want to call it come off. The guy who I was talking to said that he was in the box, so consider there's a box around this, and he had touched the ground somehow and this and got a nasty belt off it. He claims it was quite it really, really painful. So then what he did was he had a cheap meter. He took the meter and measured from this point here to ground and read 120 volts. So to him, that seemed weird. And I agreed it was weird because to me, that tells me that there's an open neutral somewhere. And that's very dangerous. That's why we don't switch our neutrals. Now, I'll show you why in a second. I'll show you a little schematic I've come up with. But if you're reading, like this is your grounded conductor, right? Not your grounding conductor, but it's called a grounded conductor. Your neutral goes all the way back to the panel and is grounded at the panel. So its potential from this point and this point should be zero volts. It should not have the same potential at all. So when you start reading 120 volts off it, from this point, your neutral to your ground, something's wrong. And what ended up happening is we looked into it is the receptacle that was down here, the neutral again had come off. So this guy had no return path, which means that the voltage potential here, here, and here was all going to be the same. Now, let me show you what I mean by that. Let me just call up my preview here and go to my window and we'll go open switch. Now with this one, You've got this side to be your neutral because it's grounded, right? Then I've got my hot coming through here. Let's say the switch is closed. I'd have my hot going through there across this, whether it's a resistor or a light bulb or whatever. It's doing some work and then goes to its ground. So that's a good sense because if I open this up and I want to work on this, there's no potential there because if I'm grounded, I'm the same potential as that and I'm safe, right? So that's a good thing. Now what happened in the situation my buddy was in, let's go with the open neutral. Is it this one? Nope, let's go with the open switch. That's not it, sorry. And open neutral one. This is the one. Is the situation that happened here is you, he opened up the neutral. So if you look here, if he's grounded, which he did because he touched the ground wire, there's potential here and there's still going to be potential there. It's not doing anything because it doesn't have a closed loop. But if he touches that, he becomes part of the loop and the current wants to go through him. So that's why it's dangerous and why we never, ever, ever switch the neutral side. Very important. So again, if you run into an issue where they're telling you that they got to belt off the neutral and you read a voltage at the neutral here to ground and it's 120 volts, you know something's wrong and that something downstream or upstream of this thing has got its neutral disconnected. Open neutrals are a big hazard and you've got to watch for them. All right. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Let me just call this up. What I wanted to talk about today and get that out of the way. Um, just one second while I'm just calling up my screen here. Sorry. There we go. So watch out for that open neutral. I'm sure some of you guys have run into these things and they can give you nasty belts. I got one off a washing machine once or no, a dryer. No, it was washing machine. No, it wasn't the, the dryer. The dryer would be 240 and that would have really hurt. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have run into this issue. Uh, the crazy stuff that you see, there's so many weird things that happen. Again, while I'm on the topic and I talked about this yesterday in this little preview to this, Make sure you go and check out that video of the guy who's got the meter and he pulled the meter out, but he still has a voltage on his ground. That one was bizarre as well. So worth, well worth watching. And that's that. So you might notice that my background's a little different than normal. I'm not in my house. I'm not hiding in the closet. I am back to work teaching. Got my first class today. And uh, as always, they're super quiet, but I hope to break them with a hat as we go. So that's where I'll be. You'll probably be seeing me a lot from our my podcast podcast video streams are going to be after two o'clock because I'm teaching till two fifteen. So just so you know, for you guys in the East coast, that'd probably be about five thirty or six, which works out well for you. Um, let me know if there's anything you guys want me to talk about again, 
watch out for that open neutral. Reason why we don't switch the neutral. Reason why we switch the hot. And keep your eye open for different posts. I posted a couple blogs. Today I posted a blog on how to make your money last a little, little bit longer. Hey, Tim. Uh, so you want it, it's money saving tips for apprentices, but honestly, it could go a long ways for the journey people out there as well, especially stuff on credit cards and buying things with money you don't have. That's just my thing. And these guys that are in my class now are going to hear a lot about that when we start talking about percentages and compounding interest this week. So keep that in mind. That might be something I'm talking about, but if there's anything you guys want me to talk about, let me know. This is going to be a quick one because I've just got to get some paperwork done here. I let my class go. And I've got a bunch of photocopying and some paperwork i got to enter. So, hey, no, thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but let me know what you want me to talk about because I'm getting lots of good emails, lots of good feedback from you guys. All right? So, again, if you missed this, make sure you go back and watch the replay. I will post it. I'll keep it posted on Facebook. I'll probably post it on YouTube as well. I think it's a really important topic. Do not switch that neutral. Watch out for that open neutral. It causes weird things from happening. Like I said, when I was in a hotel a few months ago, all of a sudden all the lights went dim and some of the circuits didn't work. Well, that was because we actually lost the main neutral. And so it wasn't a very balanced hotel load and we ended up losing, uh, we ended up getting, I didn't have my meter on me. I wish I really had my meter on me at that point, but some weird things were happening. So the neutral is important and it would be best for you guys not to get a belt. All right. I will see you guys probably either tomorrow or the next day after that. And uh, we'll be talking. I'll give you a heads up as to what I'm talking about so you can decide if you're going to chime in or not. Have a good day. Hope you guys are doing well. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Work safe. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.